Hi Virgo, and welcome to your reading on clarity. Clarity for May 2020 for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I really feel like this could be Sun, Moon, and Rising, Virgo. I don't always feel like that for all the signs, but for you Virgo, I really feel it is. I'm a rising Virgo myself. Um, and let's see. What do we have for Virgo? Something's going on at home. Oh, and your card came out, the Hermit. There's a lot of people. But a lot of people. Virgo, for clarity. Um, so the first card we, we've got for the biggest distraction is the tower. The tower represents home, foundation, or it could represent ourselves as the home, like we house our spirit, our physical self. Um, so something's going on at home, home Virgo, and... Um, I'm seeing, see, I, I, this is the Emperor card, which is a great card, uh, very powerful card, very lots of um, great Aries energy, but I'm really focused on those kids in the background. So I'm thinking a lot of you Virgos um, have children at home and you doing the homeschooling thing. Because like we also have your card, the Hermit card. So I'm thinking like studying in isolation See the, the winter there and the, it's kind of like looks isolated in the hermit. The hermit means turning inward, uh, self introspection, study. So I feel like you are, um, maybe a lot of you may be doing homeschooling or studying something yourself and it's kind of bringing down the house. Um, with the King of Cups, King of Cups energy, so we have, it's, it's an emotional time. So whether you're studying or you're working with children who are studying, it's been very emotional and you're, you're struggling with that. So it's, it's affecting your clarity. It's affecting you. Not sure how much this resonates with you, but I see it as you also have some, some choices. Or I think you had an illusion of how things were going to be and how they actually are is much more difficult than you thought. And <laughs> Spirit's not really offering any great suggestions other than to keep moving forward with the chariot because we have the Seven of Cups, which is a, a kind of an illusion card of things, of choices and illusion or, or how we planned them to be. And this is actually how they are with the chariot uh, moving, you know, moving forward. Just keep moving forward because you're going to have, you're going to have a victory. It's just hard. <laughs> it's, I see how hard it is for you, um, Virgo. I see that it's, it's, this has been a struggle. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're studying, or whatever you're trying to do with others in this quarantine, like children in your home, Maybe you're, maybe you've got a niece or a nephew that you're you know zooming and trying to teach them math. I'm not really sure what you're doing, but it's hard and you're frustrated. But you got to keep moving forward. And that's that's the message. So for your clarity to come, you got to push through this difficult time. You got to get under the problem. So the Eight of Wands. You got to get under it. Get under that problem. Whatever it is, whatever's stopping you, whatever the problem is that is uh, stumping you up, Virgo, you've got to get under it and get some direction. So maybe the answer to that one is turning, turning to some other resources, phoning a friend. I feel like we're on a show, like the game show, phone a friend, um, maybe take a break from doing it and when you come back, you'll have clarity. I think that that's really the solution is to step back and then so you can move forward. And I see, you know, 
a defensive page here. It's just a young man, young, young energy. Um, my son always shows up as the page of swords. <laughs> um, so I see that you probably are, are dealing with some young energy that's getting frustrated as well. And so the clarity and it, and it's shaking up the house. So I, I'm thinking that as wonderful as it sounds to be able to teach your kids at home or teach a child or teach yourself or learn something at home, learn, it's not that as easy as it sounds to be in your PJs and learning. Trust me, I've done it. It's, it's harder than you think. Um, I also homeschool and it's, it's, not, it's not that easy. So let me um, pull a Oracle card for you. Let's see what the Oracle says. Uh, we're looking for Vir for clarification, clarity for Virgo for the month of May with all they have going on in their home. Yeah, just what I said, the solution. Take a break. A life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill, take a break. Maybe if it's a subject specifically you're having trouble with, with whatever you're doing, um, work on a different one for a little while, or take a, a snow day, even though it's not snowing, take a snow day and maybe do some art, music, gym, do something else, uh, run, draw, break out the Crayolas and do some, some coloring books, do something, just take a break from it because it, I feel like, I feel Virgo, like your mind is just like so full of information that you, you can't make heads or tails of it right now. So Virgo for May, if you get stuck or you're finding you're struggling with uh, anything to do with education, learning, your clarity will come from taking a break. Put it aside even if it's for just a day, and then come back to it. That's what I'm seeing for you for the month of May. Virgo, I hope this helped you. I hope this resonated with you. And if it did, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell and a thumbs up if this resonated. And I hope you're doing well. And I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous May. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.